Hi guys, we just got back from a quick estate sale and a really good, no, it wasn't even a really good rummage. We went to a rummage thinking it was gonna be really good, but it wasn't, we didn't get anything. But uh, after work, I worked today until about noon and then the mister and I went about an hour away to an estate sale that was advertised on Marketplace. Um, this town has been a hit for us for four killer times now, like amazing, amazing finds, cool stuff, good prices, like houses full of cool, good stuff. Where are we going? We drove an hour for an estate sale and we're hoping it's really good because we bypassed one in our own town. <laughs> Where's the back lot? We parked in Dollar General. <laughs> oh my gosh, aren't those funny? I love mom and I love dad and it's their pictures. That's so sweet. Gift code? Yeah. You know, this morning I felt bad. I came down, coming through the country. And I seen this bird fly down in front of my car. So I didn't know for sure if I did. I'm going to take that off of there and take that out. And I said, you got a bird sticking out in front of your car. Could I? I was like, I'll give this to you. Can I take that when I leave? You can. I'll have to get it off the wall. Okay. You can do that. Yeah, I'm going to take it off there. You let you know I want it. Yeah, we got to get a screen. There's another one over there. Where's your room at? No, I have to be in there. There's one right there. Okay, I'll get that one too. You want it too? I'll look at it. Oh, that's neat. Look how cool that is. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm looking at her building here, panel. Pretty neat. Yeah, I don't think so. That was Thank you. Different, isn't it? Oh, this. Oh, is there a baby in there? I need that. No, man, a little angel. No, it's not the ones, is it? This? Got it. Stormy rain, change, fair, very dry. That was a fail. I didn't even know that was fails. Yeah. Some, of those that. Are, some of those are fails. Well, I picked it up, but oh, wow. I don't think so. Did you know that? Some of these are fails. Oh, cute. Yeah. That was a cute. I know that was kitties at the time, actually. Yeah. 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 All the fine compliments, all the good wishes. We'll never replace help with the dishes. We'll help with what? Help with the dishes. You want that? Hmm? Should I do this? It's five. Is that a clock? No. Or a two Thermometer things. Yeah, that's cool. Christmas mug, yes. musical okay. Christmas mug. We'll do that. Yeah, that's cool. Any chips? Or blackout? <laughs> These go every time. No, I've got three or four of those right now. They're so so just the colored just glass like ones lately. Yeah. Colored ones. I'm missing my stuff over here. This is a pretty good one. Yeah. Thanks, sister, for yeah, the tip. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Dawn. I'm really grateful. I have, what about those cookie jars? I didn't even look at those. That's cool. Is it Avon? Doesn't seem. Like. Tweety. Tweety cookie jar. Ten dollars. Is still here. Yeah. 100 each. 100 each. Who's that, John Wayne? Yeah. Look at these runners. They're, they look crocheted, but they're plastic, vinyl. Weird. I know. I think I'm going to do them like list them as a set, you know? Oh, Sam? No, no, it's just regular. Oh, these are different. Different. Yeah, that's heavy. 
That one's different. Five, mm. ten. And that'd be hard as heck to ship. Look at those. Aren't they cute? Ceramic. Be heavy. You just got some like this, didn't you? Or did you already sell them? Oh, no, I still have them. I just couldn't take a chance on those because we hadn't found anything much that day. <laughs> I don't know that they really would. I thought we sold them from James Dean. That The placemats, those big ones? Mm-mm. Nope. She almost didn't put her car in park when she saw this rummage sale. If I could do one of those little jumps where you kick your heels up together, I'd do it for you. It's kind of cool. When, like egg chairs are so big and so that would be perfect for a little girl for their doll, yeah. but it's really badly broken. broken. The back. And another one. No. Oh, yeah. I, thought you said that you thought I said maybe they're, they're getting ready to set up for next week. Oh. Recipes. So big. Yeah, it's like a whole set. Yeah. Our game plan was put in the box. Get rid of more. <laughs> yeah, get rid of yep. more. But then I see these and they're kind of messy, like it's yeah, been like repainted some, or something. Yeah. For you. Cool, though. Like the 2012. She loves her corn. You need some money? There was the cutest little sign written on that notepad. It said, a free will donation as much or as little as you want we hope you enjoy our corn and we're sorry we weren't here to assist you have a great day love the Hortons <laughs> There's your little tulip ones. A different little tulip. I was gonna see if maybe these were any good, but I don't think they are anything special. They're newer. Aunt Jemima. Can't sell those. Those are kind of neat. What did I say? Carl? 
bulky for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> need a boat motor? Nope. <laughs> Come on. This is all the stuff I just got from Tammy. What's that? Cute. Superstar. Oh, it doesn't uh -huh. work. Right. That's cool though. <laughs> So we walked in the door of this estate sale. We drove an hour, um, walked in the door of this estate sale, and the first thing I saw was this handmade, you probably can't see it, uh, handmade curio shadow box cabinet thing. That is not necessarily my style, but the cabinet itself was priced with the items in it so if you bought the cabinet you bought the stuff or if you bought the stuff you had to take the cabinet and they were telling us that their dad was a woodworker and made all the little curio cabinets that were in the house and they the house was full of cool little trinkets so there were a lot of curio cabinets um there's a lot of bells in here which i wasn't that excited about but there were some brass and some figurines that i really wanted that made it worth purchasing the whole kit so um, got this cute little black eyed girl. Uh, there's a couple of bells. I'll show them to you, but I don't really do much with bells. I'll probably end up putting them in a lot, um, all together. Although this one was kind of cute. She's a left in, but, I, and I've never seen one like her. I thought she was really interesting. Uh, another bell, another bell, but this girl is an April bell, but all of her flowers are broken. Another little bell. She looks like a like a Hawaiian luau little girl. They may be from around the world. Like, kind of looks like I'm not sure where she would be from. Maybe maybe Spain. Spain. I don't know. And then this one was probably Ireland, and that one was probably like Polynesia somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been in school. Um, oh, I didn't see that. Random little '80s pink and blue unicorns. Uh, what's this last thing in this one? Another bell. Uh, looks like Holland. This little girl is a Joseph girl. Still has her Japan sticker, her original Joseph sticker. Bow's intact, hands intact, little hanger off her of, his, of her hat is intact, little bow on the top of the package is intact, which is kind of amazing because a lot of times these with all these little tiny sticking out parts something will be broken normally and she wasn't yeah, probably because she's been sitting in this beautiful case the whole time <clears throat> this little joseph girl she has her stickers as well she's got a cute little head scarf on and she's mashing the grapes i think and she cute and real big pink fluffy dress with one little shoe poking out at the bottom there she was sweet uh there's two random napkin holders which they say they're made in Kenya, but they don't go together at all. So those may be donated. I'm not sure. Uh, another bell, looks like a China or Japan. Uh, this one, oh, she's weird. She looks like her hands on backwards. See how it's palm out in the back? Maybe there's some meaning to that. I'm not sure. She looks like Dutch almost. Maybe Swedish. Uh, this is a little one figurine. I think there's a match for him somewhere. There's a couple of these little rando figurines. And then this weird angel, which will probably go to the donate store, the thrift store the mission store nearby us. It says they bought it the Liberty Bell for $3.99. It's got a price tag on it, so it's likely not super old. Um, just really odd, really, really kind of creepy actually. Um, so probably that'll be donated. And then the whole, whoo, the dust. <laughs> then the whole rest of the top shelf of this box was brass. And some of these are bells too, so they must have been a bell collector. This one, um, looks kind of like Liberty Bell style. Um, it's a, an eagle, got a little bell on the bottom. This one says, this one's really cute. It says, be happy you are loved with a little flower on both sides. And it's got a, whoop, let's see if I can break it. Um, none of these are marked, which I find interesting. I would like it if they were so I could know where they got it. This cute, 
brass bell. I thought it was just a paperweight. It's a bell with like the best ringer. It's not high pitched. And it says it's made by Russ, made in Korea, which I thought was interesting. Maybe it was a teacher gift at some point. Uh, another eagle bell, only this one is silver. I'm showing y'all the not the greatest stuff first. A uh, cute little brass teapot, random. A seahorse bell, this one almost looks like it's been corroded on the inside um but it's still kind of cool tinkly oh the teapot has a lid didn't see that in there cute little lid on there a big heavy brass kitty that is marked made in taiwan they liked cats they had a ton of cats a funny faced cat really heavy an elephant that the mister would like to keep in this house um, to point the trunk up towards the door. That's supposed to be good luck and bringing in prosperity. A oh, silver, this is $25 on the bottom of it, um, but it's almost like a cast metal silver cat. Uh, another super heavy cast metal cat. It, it says 25 too, so maybe I'll have to look into those to learn more about them because I would have probably written those off as nothing, but maybe they are worth more than I think they are if somebody had them marked $25. And then my two favorite brass things from the whole kitten caboodle. <laughs> you see what I did there? Kitten. Um, are these two long necked kitties. They're just one taller than the other. Real sweet, cute little faces. They're starting to um, cor not corrode, what do you call that? Have some patina on the brass, starting to turn a little green. Their faces are so cute. I love how they're kind of leaning apart from each other. Um, and I love that they go together and they're not exactly the same. So those are probably one of my favorite finds from the whole day. Also found, that was everything that was in the um, curio. Ouch, that's, that is broken. One little corner of that sawtooth edge is broken and just stabbed me really good. Got me cut and about to bleed. That's real neat. Um, I always pick up these egg plates. They always sell well for me, especially around the holidays. I picked up three of these mushroom towels. At first I thought it was a tablecloth. It was not. She had just used two of these really large towels. I don't want to get, I don't want to bleed on those. Um, I thought they were really just a tablecloth, like a terry cloth tablecloth because she had it under some things. And I said, oh, I love those. And the mister said, oh, she'll buy anything with mushrooms on it. And the lady said, well, we can take all that stuff off the table. And she, she took, she, we did, we took all the stuff off the table, took these two off. And she said, oh, I got another one in the drawer here. And she got in the drawer and got me the third. So I bought all three little mushroom tablecloths. Holy cow, I am bleeding. Good grief. Stab myself with vintage treasures. That is a win. <laughs> what else is in here? Uh, a twin fitted sheet and two pillowcases. Uh, I thought this was very... 80s 90s tiger vibes so we grabbed those i thought these were really cool um they are little table runners which is interesting i thought they were crocheted and or you know sewn or whatever you do with with lace and they're vinyl they are vinyl all three of them are little vinyl table runners so i got them to list as a set got this cool tin Las Vegas um, ashtray. Got this really cute, the mister found this. Really cute trivet. It is marked San Ho, made in Taiwan. Um, and it says, it's okay to smoke here, just don't exhale. Isn't that good? I love that. Got a new old stock pair of gardening gloves. They used to be $1 at the time of their heyday. Um, but aren't they cute? They have the cutest little patchwork design. The packaging is really sweet made in Hong Kong. And the last thing that I got, you know, I always pick these up if you've watched any of my other videos, but it is a temperature, humidity, and barometer um, guide. And I, these always sell for me. They always do. So I always, always, always pick these up. This one I paid up a little bit for, but I think it's still going to be worth it. Um, I, again, that's like a big tip. I would have never thought that these would be anything. Um, but they are. They sell every time for me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my crowd. I don't know, but they always, always sell. So that is everything for me from our 
trip to that estate sale, we didn't end up buying anything at the rummage sale. It was advertised on Marketplace as an estate rummage, and we got there, and it was mostly, I think that these elderly people maybe had a booth at some point or another, um, because most of the stuff was sat out, perfectly spread out on beautiful tablecloths and priced with real price tags, not like rummage sale prices at all. We had some cool stuff, but it wasn't really stuff that I was into. We had a really cool jukebox, but it didn't work. Um, and I don't have room for one anyway, but it was really neat to see it. They had some neat pieces that they were neat to look at and they were nice to talk to. The people were super nice, um, but it wasn't anything that I could bring home. So that was a bust, but the estate sale an hour away was top notch. We got a lot of good things. So that was exciting. Um, tomorrow there is a townwide rummage and a couple of another, a couple of other little rummages that we wanted to hit that we've seen on Marketplace, but that were only on Saturday. So we're going to hit those tomorrow and try to get some footage for you there and I'll show you what I get. Um, and then next week is the 127 yard sale. Um, if you've watched my videos, we had to do it in three or even four or five parts. I can't remember, but there's quite a few parts of the video of us doing the 127 sale last year. It goes from Michigan to Alabama, I believe, all the way down Highway 127, 690 miles of yard sales. Um, so it's coming. That is coming. Next weekend, we're doing that. We're going at least Thursday and Friday, possibly Saturday. It's the weekend before back to school, so I got to spend some time with my kiddos too, um, not just yard sailing, but we're going to try to find some balance there and hit everything and do everything. So stay tuned because we've got a lot of good stuff coming up and I will see you in the next one. Take care.